Oh, hello, it's me again. Um, and today we're going to be colouring in this drawing I made a while back that I just have not got around to colouring in. And I thought I would try out filming my iPad while I do it so you can kind of watch me um, as, I don't know, I'm trying to work out the best way of presenting speed draws. Um, I tried with the little avatar, which was a lot of fun to set up. So I made like, I used like a VTuber kind of application and I made it so that it would move. But for me to do it and to put it over the top, because I use iMovie for my editing. Um, and there's a limit in like how many layers you can have. The two programs I mainly use for editing are iMovie and um, I've used Canva and both of them have a lot of like limits in what you can actually do with the application. So I'm trying to find like ways of doing speed draws and stuff because my aim for this channel or like my feelings with this channel are always that it's a like I want it to be like a kind of a place you can come and like chill if you get me like I want these videos to be like kind of like chill background noise or just kind of join in with me while I mess around with art like I'm still trying to really I guess kind of find like the enjoyment in art like I enjoy art but um a lot of the time when you're trying to make it your job and it's your hobby it's hard to kind of keep up the enthusiasm and the interest and not kind of get very caught up in trying to make things look professional so I really want this channel to be a kind of place for me to experiment and try new things and make art for the sake of art and I kind of like it to be somewhere for you to join along with me and kind of like to kind of form a community as such to um sort of make art together and kind of work through and learn things together so just as kind of like a general waffle about art um i also like very much like the format because it's i want to say it's like it's easy for me to do and it feels like talking to a friend like i recently saw one of sketches with shay's videos where she described it as like facetiming a friend and i really like that kind of vibe um kind of like the idea that this is just me and you kind of sitting together and vibing um but you know what i mean like just kind of making stuff or learning I am trying to do more tutorials, kind of like with my series, the new series concept of um, like doing like ways to fill your sketchbook and stuff. Like I want that to be kind of like an interactive series kind of thing, like a scribbly club kind of stuff. Um, and I guess that's a little bit more like teaching, but I also want this to be this i mean it's kind of like streaming like without the feedback i am more and more feeling like it would be nice to stream but also i don't know how to set that up um and i kind of feel like at this stage there may not be many of you watching like in a nice way if you get me like I don't know. I don't know if there'd be enough interaction. Um, but then again, it's kind of the same as me just sitting here doing this. Um, I'm thinking purple. I don't normally like purple. 
purple, but you know, this is really giving me purple vibes. So I'm gonna do it like that instead. Um, in case you heard the door just open because this is a really interactive and open conversation as we FaceTime. Um, that's because I forgot to tell my boyfriend I was recording and he quite good, I'm very pleased, came to check why I was insane and talking to myself. Um, so there you go. But yeah, I mean this is taking like no time. This kind of, I don't want to say new star because I imagine it probably looks exactly the same to everyone else and it's only me that like sees much of a difference but this way of kind of colouring and making art I've been doing recently with the doodly. Like this was a really doodly piece. It just, I do find a lot of joy. A lot of joy in working like this because it's simple. I can't lose my concentration, my motivation. It's just kind of fun. Really basic, really bulky colors. Bulky? Bulky. That's the word we went with, you know? Um. Bold. Bold. That took me way too long to remember what the correct word was. Um, but yeah, it's kind of... I don't really do shading in this style. But I felt like maybe we give it a go. Because once again, as I said, art is kind of... I get in this, like stuck doing one thing. I feel very... Uh, not stuck, just I kind of I stick with one way of doing it and it's kind of trying out new things not changing things up I always find if you're bored, change things up um, but yeah I am I really would like like, I'm super like if you feel like giving feedback give me feedback um, I'd love to hear it um, whether you enjoy these kind of things. I feel like a lot of people probably aren't so interested in this kind of stuff. And maybe more interested in the Bioshock stuff. But um, I haven't played Bioshock in a while, so it's kind of... I don't want to force making content for it. I don't want to replay it. I'm replaying Fallout 4 at the moment, so... I want to make more stuff for that. But you know, it's kind of, it's that balance between things that I'm enjoying and things that I know people like. So I know people like fan art and seeing that stuff. And I can very easily make it, but I don't want to do it if it's not kind of what I feel like doing in that moment. I don't want to force making that kind of stuff. This one's super rambly and that's because I'm like just recording in between waiting for dinner but um i feel like it's a nice little one-to-one -to -one, a one-to-one -to -one together um a nice little one-to-one -to, -one to talk about the channel our baby why is it our baby that's just weird isn't it um oh this is looking cute i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying it also, the benefit of this style is I can literally just draw and colour over the lines and stuff and not have to worry about um, what I normally would be worrying about, which is like the multiply and how rubbish the stuff underneath looks. This just makes it a lot easier. I feel like it's a pretty standard way that a lot of people colour and make art. But yeah, in terms of tutorials, I think the sketchbook kind of... Tutorials are nice, um, but I'm not the best at, I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> you probably can tell, these videos aren't really edited much. I feel like if I edited them too much, I mean, if I edited out the rambly, there wouldn't be any video left, so I just tend to check for like loud annoying sounds, get those out of there, kick those out, they're not welcome, um, and like long pauses and weird stuff. But really, I just kind of, these videos are what they are. They basically are a live stream, but you're not live. You get this weeks afterwards because 
that's just kind of how it works. Um, I don't know if that's, do you think, honestly, do you think it should be a little bit more edited? Um, like, do you think it's lacking? Do you think you could do with a little bit more of a thing? Like, is it, would it be better if I stayed more on topic? You know? Um, or if there were like two different types of videos. Um, but yeah, doing tutorials is like usually very edited, um, like heavily going over the footage and rehearsing and kind of scripting a little bit and to try and keep it like brief and to the point. And I'm not great at that. I kind of lose my confidence, repeat myself a lot. So, instead, this is what we're currently vibing with. Um, yeah, you end up with a rambly content, which was a super long ramble about rambly content. So, you know, on brand, on brand, on topic, on on something um but yeah just kind of a general update on channel goings on what it's like inside my brain um i do i notice like my shorts used to get still get quite a few views and it's mainly the crochet ones which is cool i love crochet and i don't i haven't crocheted in a long time it's a bit hard i find to kind of make crochet videos because they worked very well for shorts i found because it was brief and people could kind of well it just shows the product you see the thing whereas actually crocheting like i'm currently crocheting a cardigan and it is honestly it's been like months and it will always be months because it takes a lot of commitment and um sticking to one pro like topic to do a cardigan um and i get bored and i move on so i have two cardigans on the go i was filming making them but it's been a long time and it will be a long time before they're finished um, so it's kind of like, by the time I get around to making a video, I also find that the, like, I can bulk do footage sometimes, like, I'll sit down and record a load of stuff, or have a load of ideas, but there is a amount of time before that footage kind of loses its value, or it just doesn't seem to fit in, or it feels too outdated. So... I kind of have to take that into account and kind of stick with one idea and then get it out rather than like, particularly if like there's loads of editing and stuff, it'll really catch up on me. Like I technically have like four different videos that I could kind of put together and edit, but I don't know if they'll work, I don't know if I remember what I was doing, like kind of a lot of times passed since they recorded and stuff, so I kind of have to revisit and work out what was I thinking at that time, if you kind of get me. Also this is a ton of fun, this kind of drawing, just kind of go on wacky deals. Anyway, I imagine dinner is probably done quite soon for me. Um, I'm not the cook in this house. My boyfriend is the cook. Um, I can cook just very slowly, not incredibly decently, and uh, so we tend to just, he gets to do it, um, on the basis that I do the washing up, which sometimes I do and I try to do, and sometimes he does because really he's a wonderful boyfriend. It's a bit sappy, isn't it? Anyway. Let's just add the blinding highlights. We're going to turn this down. There we go. That's cute. A little bit in the eye, maybe. Maybe if we put it on top of the eye. 
No, it's kind of cool. Kind of liking that. What we can even do is, you know, the good old whack an overlay over the whole thing. I am thinking, though, I think this should. My pen's coming unscrewed. This should reach the bottom. I like how she looks very, um, glowy. I like that. And I also think we should whack in, do it in yellow. Yellow, when you do adding, yellow tends to work better. more than white which white will go very one-dimensional there we are i don't know what's going on here but i kind of like it it's kind of had a weird shine with this messy little brush because i don't know it's kind of fun well, that's kind of fun i would keep meaning to finish this and we just keep going keep saying but yeah but um i just mean feedback feedback love it love feedback let me know what you enjoy why'd you watch this channel why'd you watch this video why'd you click on it what made you want to click on it was it just that there was a bright color in the thumbnail kind of you enjoyed it um i don't know i did a cut i sometimes i do polls but i know that like i understand a lot of the time you just come across a video don't you just gotta find it I'm really losing the track of what I'm talking about. Oh, look at that. Not great. Turn it down. There we go. All done. All completed. You can now maybe someday in the far future see that on Instagram. Anyway, it's great chatting with you. Goodbye.